In this video, it's going to be something just kind of simple, but it's going to be how to organize and pretty much how you're going to want to sort your files. Now, in most of my videos and a lot of other tutorials, we usually just use like init.sqf or init player local or init server to pretty much write all our scripts in. That's perfectly fine for testing because I mean, you generally have a separate mission that you want to test stuff on, so you're not actually working in your true like mission file that you plan on releasing and continuing to work on and possibly screwing something out without realizing it. Plus it makes it just easier to do stuff and test. But instead of forcing it all into one or two little files, it's a lot easier and nicer to organize throughout like in separating stuff with folders and having those files in the folders. Like so. You see the script's working just fine. But the problem is, it is all inside of init player local. So if I want to add other stuff in here, just it would really fill this up quite quickly. So what I like to do is sort them. So this is a mission event handler. So I'm just going to make a new folder and just call it player. Or if this can be a big project, you're going to generally want to separate it. So have something for client, and then inside of the client folder sort more stuff such as event handlers but since this is small just testing we're just going to make a new folder called event handlers or player yeah yeah just leave it as that player event handlers now we're going to make our new sqf script in here and just call it mission eh eh being short for event handlers now we open up mission e or mission yeah mission eh. We're gonna paste all of our stuff from init player local inside of it and save it. Then we're gonna delete everything inside of init player local. Now we're just gonna do exec vm, and this is always gonna be in quotations. So in this case, we follow the path exactly. So we have the folder name, which is player event handlers then we use a backslash not a forward slash make sure it's back and then we have the file name so mission eh.sqf and since granted this if you're watching this you probably don't get this concept but since init player local is a scheduled environment and we are running this file as well as it being through execvm it means mission event handler well, mission eh is also going to be technically a scheduled environment. So we go back in, load up the mission just like before, and everything's working the exact same. Our init player locals not cluttered up, and we can pretty much. Oops. If you want to find an error to something, something happens. Just place a hint in each of your files, such as like hint and drawing event handler and you would place it somewhere down towards the bottom and if you if it does not display the hint then you know something's wrong like if you're ever having an issue but if it does play the display the hint likely you are it's doing something just fine as of right now it's completely spamming them because it's on the add mission event handler which, as of right now, it's pretty much running this on every single frame. So, <laughs> But anyways, that's just the general idea of how to keep stuff nice and orderly. So, yeah. And same thing with when you do make your own functions as well. So if we have our name, let's just call it, I don't know, draw func equals... Then we paste all the stuff inside of this instead. Now if this is your own actual like little script and you go to call it, you're going to want to change the name to something that's kind of more recognizable to yourself if this is a public mission because sometimes you'll have mods and stuff like that that you include or other people's scripts that have their own functions in them. Now if you go to call those functions, you'll see they'll always have stuff like I don't know, life servers will have it be like 
asylum underscore life underscore then the function name you can always do something similar so buffalo I think that's spelled wrong anyways buffalo draw funk call buffalo draw funk okay creep that's annoying it's just gonna kinda keep everything just nice and neat and it's all still gonna work the same but it's just how you sort everything and just kinda good practice and makes these things easier to look through as well if you send your script to somebody else